Hi, welcome back to channel Train Station 2. Alright, I've claimed the rare train DEAC33C. Alright, so um, that is the uh, second last train I'm going to claim from this event. Uh, there will be one more common train which I'm going to claim uh, probably after the uh, competition itself, uh, whereby we'll have the additional keys from the personal rewards as well as the team rewards. So, um, as of now, um, I'm really trying to slow down my progress um, in this uh, ranking up, also called leveling up. Uh, apparently, I'm at 389. Uh, very soon, it'll be 390. I only left with 10 more levels before we go to the next region. Um, that's really worrying me because uh, when the new event starts, I really need to uh, retain in my current uh, region to get a higher chance of winning. Uh, but I do understand during events itself, sometimes you just get promoted halfway. I think that's a bit disastrous. But of course, as compared to so-called um, starting in a new region at the start of competition, I think that would be, be worse off. Um, what I'm trying to retain is at least um, the first three competitions. Um, we will be able to do it in Russia so that um, I will get the maximum uh, coins I could get or so, so called those event coins for the next uh, competition uh, so the next event I'm not too sure when it's going to start probably once it's out I'll share with you uh, but it's about automobile um, hopefully it's a main event uh, rather than a mini event so uh, that's something I really hopeful uh, that it will be that way so that we can get um, the uh, new trains, uh, event trains and going to claim them only in the new region uh, fortunately I thought I could do uh, the claiming in a new region for this event but I believe um, the quantities that they are pushing out to this event is just too much uh, for us to handle and the progress in terms of the XP collected is not sufficient for me to reach 400 so I'm stepping on the bricks right now I'm not going to progress um, furthermore I've already gotten what I want from this event so I really will need to step on the brakes in terms of progress and of course um, the consequence would be the ranking uh, I wouldn't be able to rank good uh, but that doesn't really matter uh, together with what I have I think a few tens or 20 or 30 of those uh, coins and uh, what's going to get probably uh, for this uh, is probably less than a hundred so um, plus whatever you're going to get from um, those individual uh, reward itself. I think that should suffice um, so called to take at least another two uh, mega boxes itself. So um, I really claim all the coins, I reclaim that legendary train. Um, so that's only left with mega boxes. As for the event uh, keys, um, I already calculated. I have also more than sufficient uh, to claim another. Uh, common train after the event itself um, all thanks to the personal reward I think there's about uh, 1200 uh, there waiting uh, of course along the way we still have after the event 48 hours to complete all the jobs on hand that will give us a bit more of those um, event keys and uh, definitely more than 500 and uh, with that uh, that would uh, wrap up the whole uh, event itself and uh, of course um, I think in this event, the quantity they are asking, especially post 100% completion, is proven that it's a bit crazy. So, um, like I said, um, it's really important. Um, you should understand the concept by now. I've been emphasizing uh, throughout this whole event of the 99% strategy. But likewise, um, there's a need to be able to identify which event is 99% uh, strategy applicable, whereas which is not so um, the always want to emphasize is looking at the number uh, the so-called the last drop number so is imagine this if it's slash 25 um, this is a high chance it's a 99 percent strategy that will work but if it's a slash 5 maximum um, it means that it's best to complete 100 percent so that um, you'll be rewarded in a way uh, with higher EP normally it's about 70 EP after 100 percent those are for those events that uh, push you towards 100 percent and I think another clue um, would be basically you will not be giving new jobs um, once uh, you have not completed the other required jobs so those are the ones that actually require you to complete 100 percent itself all right so um, I do think that uh, this fireworks display um, and as well as the torch looks really good 
Um, it reminds me of some other events whereby you really have those spectacular uh, endings to it that makes you feel really good. Um, the problem with me is really uh, in terms of warehouse capacity is really tiny. So that is something that always lose out to other competitors. Um, the other thing I think uh, really losing out is the number of gems that we have. Um, given that Apple players uh, tends to lose out for sure. So this, this is basically the, the killer and in terms of uh, competitions for me. Um, if you have not been really doing well in terms of competitions, um, sometimes a matter of luck, do not be too uh, worried about that. Um, this is basically the allocation uh, by the system, uh, which you can't really um, control or hope for. Uh, basically, the system randomly uh, drop people into the group that you are in. Um, of course, um, the only way you can manipulate that is by joining at a slightly later date, uh, so-called timing. Uh, I'm going to emphasize this. Uh, there's a minimum of 36 hours minimum playing time in uh, competition. That means that if it's a long uh, competition of um, three days, uh, the latest you can join is about 35 hours plus. Just don't end join after 36 hours. Uh, because there's really a need for the remaining 36 hours to play to qualify. I've once uh, been disqualified uh, from joining the uh, competition and I think I lose big time on that. Alright, so whereas uh, in a two days uh, competition fight, then uh, you know that you cannot join beyond 12 hours. Try to join like 11 hours plus for the last group. Um, but there's a disadvantage sometimes to that because um, um, there may not be many people and uh, people who have joined at the 9 hour, 10 hour uh, together with you joining at let's say 11 and a half hour later may be in the same group but that actually gives people about 2 and a half to 3 hours ahead of you so that is something disadvantaged at your own so you really got to find a correct timing on your own uh, some people do well at 8 hours some people do well at uh, 10 hours so you got to find your own timing but a lot of it depends on luck again um, some people for 3 days events do well at 24 hours so uh, a lot of adjustments and of course um, sometimes it's a bit random as well um, try to see which actually suits you better and if such then uh, of course uh, it, that must suit into your life uh, timing because um, you know when you wake up and such like that um, not forgetting, uh, um, if you are the first one to join a competition, you'll be joining those that really aggressive people uh, that actually go all the way, unscrupulous uh, spending gems. So do not do that. Um, starting late is a late strategy. Uh, having the progression stuck at 99% is a 99% strategy. Or both uh, late strategy and 99% strategy must work hand in hand. Um, besides that, um, it's about uh, resource allocation. When you basically um, send your trains out, you do understand that you have limited dispatches. You may have more than sufficient trains, but without dispatches, you can't do much. So uh, make sure you split your delivery uh, trains by two different teams. Uh, one team focus on the current region and one team focus on the previous region. For me, there'll be one team that do the uh, region 5 jobs and one team that does the region 6 jobs. And of course, um, when there happens like triple restriction in terms of uh, vehicle type, engine type and region type, then probably you're going to do those a bit more first because it takes really a long while to complete. But of course, they compensate you normally with higher uh, EP as well. So um, in, besides the resource allocation, there's a need for preparation. A lot of preparation work required uh, before uh, competition, especially the first competition, that's all you can prepare. Um, as for the second competition onwards, the EP hit start is important. Um, do all the EP hit starts are very strong ones. Um, the other one is about pacing. Um, you know that by using this event as an example, uh, you know some of the uh, EP is really high at the tail end. So a bit of pacing, if you know that event you are losing in that competition, you may just let it lose, but you know that you will win really well in the next one if you save up all the high EPs for the next one. So that would be another way of doing it. Alright, now the happy moment, and thank you for watching. Goodbye. <laughs>